It's no secret that the fashion industry has had issues with diversity and inclusivity in the past. That's why we're partnering with YouTube to bring together some of the biggest creators to have a conversation about what it really means to be inclusive in 2017. A Eurocentric standard of beauties always seemed to be the benchmark, leaving those who don't fit out of the conversation. Sure, progress has been made. Dr. Danielle Shapuck became the first model in a wheelchair to appear on a runway at New York Fashion Week. Halima Aden modeled a denim hijab in a recent American Eagle campaign. And Ashley Graham made history as the first plus-size woman to land the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. But there's more work to be done. The Fashion Spot reports that only 31.5% of New York Fashion Week models were non-white. One woman who knows this struggle all too well is plus-size model Precious Lee. Discovered at an open call in Atlanta, Georgia, Precious has been modeling since she graduated from college. Starring in Lane Bryant's viral ad campaigns and walking the runway for designer Christian Siriano. Yet the plus-size model is still trying to make her mark on New York Fashion Week. Today, I'm following her on a casting call to see what it's really like for a model in today's fashion landscape. I moved here five years ago, and um, I signed with Ford Models. And at that time, Ford had every top plus size model like in the industry in one place. On the 365th day, Ford closed its plus board. It was something that, you know, brought something out of me that I didn't have before. A black model that is a size 14 is something that is very rare, mm -hmm. and especially at that level. And that's the thing, like there's so many fashion forward, curvy women. The average size woman in America is a size 14. Not representing such a large population of women that it's just no excuse. I was still modeling under the name Victoria. I'll never forget the first casting I went to. I was like, Victoria <laughs> Lee, I was like, oh, and then I stood up and this other girl stood up who had the same name. She could have not been more different for me. She was Australian, blonde, blue-eyed, size two. That was when I was started to, like my will started to turn and realizing that I didn't necessarily identify with that name. Mm -hmm. I went to IMG, so I was like, I'm keeping my hair short. I may put on a couple of wigs. I may have it long and I want my name to be precious and I want to do this and I want to be this and I want it to be amazing and I want to do all of these huge, huge things. And they were like, we love it, They're amazing, like come over. And I was like, Yes, I'm home. You've walked the Christian Siriana show twice now. Mm -hmm. What has walking in a high fashion CFDA New York Fashion Week show meant to you? It's just so refreshing to see amazing cuts and amazing fabric, like high quality mm -hmm. for larger sizes. You walked in, he gave you that warm embrace. Tell me That's about it. your relationship. Christian has been walking in the show since she started to use curvy women, and I just love his energy. He shows that you can be super talented and amazing designer, but you can also be cool. You know what I mean? And relatable and welcoming, and he wants us to have fun. He wants me to look and feel good. For a long time, there were no plus size models. There weren't agencies that were, you know, there, it just didn't exist. That was the challenge before. I always wanted girls that were like, had more shape or body. It should just be normal to want to see different types of women wear your clothes. As a designer, it's such a simple thing to think about. I can't imagine if I didn't have clothes that even some of my girls that work here couldn't wear. You are up for the challenge, but so many designers are not. Why do you think that is? It's the making of the clothes to have samples in so many different sizes. It's a lot of work, but I do it because I want people to understand that like, it's not just important to dress an it girl, it's important to dress everyone. It's a challenge for us. We wanna see our work look beautiful on all these different types of people. And then I'm telling you, the customer translates so much more. Even if the customer isn't a size 18, but she loved what that girl wore, maybe she's an eight, she's like, I can see myself in it more. And that's why now it's so exciting that there's like awesome, great girls that are curvy and have shape and have a great walk. And look <laughs> just as good as every other girl that's in the show, sometimes better, <laughs> you know? It's just really exciting to like continue to work for him and hopefully be in the show this season again. Yes, fingers crossed. Right. How many castings do you have today? Um, I have five total, so I have four more, so I actually have to run. Uh, but thank you so much for coming. So great. See you soon. Happy Fashion Week.
here at L.com, we want to bring this conversation to the forefront. Over the next two weeks, we'll be rolling out content, a part of our Fashion for All initiative. Leave a comment below and let us know what Fashion for All means to you. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a beat.